Hey everybody and welcome to five things that you probably don't know about me. Um, <laughs> the reason I say that is because I feel like there might be a lot of things that I don't know that you guys know about me. You guys are, you guys know a lot about me. You guys always find a way to find these things out. It's really, it's really bizarre. But anyways, I took down some notes here. Uh, okay, in my little notebook, I have, hold on here, where is it exactly? Oh, actually, it's the first page, so. <clears throat> I wrote down five things. Five things that I think I've never actually mentioned in any of my videos. And they're not, you know, they're not, they're, they're, they're not crazy. They're not these crazy, weird things that you are unheard of from people, but they're just kind of things, you know, you get to know me a little better, you know, more on like a personal level. So why not? I thought we'd get right on into it. Here we go. It's like I'm reading a book. I'm like I'm, re I'm like a teacher reading the book to my class. Also, real quick, for those of you who don't know what's going on with the setup right now, I at this point I probably had some videos come out with me using the new setup. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm visiting family for the holidays. Uh, this holiday season, which is why I'm actually doing a little temporary setup. It's kind of funny actually here I kind of want to show you look at my lighting right now. My lighting is a lamp with tissue a <laughs> With an elastic binding tissue to the lamp just to make the light a little bit softer um, <laughs> It's really the best I could do without going and getting a whole new lighting setup So that's gonna have to work for now. I apologize that not everything here is perfect But uh, you know, I think I think it works I think it works just barely enough. Hopefully you guys can tolerate it. But anyways, <clears throat> number one, or should we do number five? Should we go five to one? Yeah, let's do that. And number five. So number five, I used to be in professional division ballet dancing. No, not professional as in like I was a professional at it. I was by no means good. I was actually quite bad. But the point is, is that uh, there was a really big, period of my life where, um, well, this was when I was much younger, I think when I was around ages five, six, six to like 12, six to 12, something like that. I danced, um, I did ballet dancing for a very, very long time. And it, it may not seem like that long because that's only about six years, but there were points where I was doing it for, uh, like uh, hours and hours every day, like six hours a day. Um, because there is there's this uh, there was this professional division that they start accepting kids into at a very young age and they kind of get you into the motion of dancing every single day for hours and hours and hours I had to leave school early um, I actually had to leave school after lunch so that I could go and make the classes because they started at like 1 p.m. and they went up until I would go home and then go to bed so it was like a pretty intense thing and I ended up stopping when I was about 11 or 12 something like that because I I don't know it just wasn't my thing um, I didn't really re I didn't really enjoy it but um, one thing that I did kind of want to mention with whenever I did write this point down was that there are actually it's really unfortunate the way it is perceived amongst most people um, because because I was I wasn't really actually getting made fun of it in school it was definitely like a thing people would kind of poke at just to sort of bug me but there are I actually know cases of people who quit dancing because they were getting made fun of and because it was like an actual thing that even though they enjoyed it they couldn't take the like the social accept there, there isn't enough social acceptance that comes with it And so I just kind of want to let you guys know if there's anybody out there if you're a boy or a girl um, Girls don't get made as much fun of for dancing. It's because it's see it's more it's more normal I guess you could say for girls to dance, but there's there should be absolutely nothing wrong with a with a boy dancing and if you have a passion for it if it's something that you like to do don't let anybody put you down because that is absolutely wrong. Um, and it's really, really unfortunate how many people don't get to pursue certain dreams just because of the, the social aspects that come with it. So that was actually, it is something that kind of means like you know, something to me. It, it is kind of something coming from the heart because it is actually something that I sort of dealt with in my life. But anyways, that's number five. Uh, we got still four more points to go, so I don't want to ramble too much with each point. Okay. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Number four, I play a lot of video games. And now here's the thing is that I know it's like, oh, everyone plays a lot of video games. Dennis, we get it. Well, it's like no it's it's bad it's real bad um outside of outside of youtube because i already play a lot of games just because of my youtube channel which i love thank you so much before youtube i played games every single day i want to say average maybe six to eight hours i'm not even exaggerating there I would literally, I would go to school, and then I would come home, and I would play video games until I went to bed. Or if I was hanging out with friends, we would play video games. That's just all we did all the time. I have, <laughs> I, there, there's a couple games that I listed just to kind of give you a rough idea. In Counter-Strike, which is one of my favorite games, I have about 2,000 hours playtime in the game. 2,000 as in, if you take the time of actually playing, not just how long I've owned the game or how long the game's been on, of like me actually playing the game, I have logged 2,000 hours. That is, what is 2,000, 2,000 hours is a lot. If we, if we bust out the calculator here, 2,000 hours divided by 24, that is 83.3 days. If you sat down for 83 days straight, that's almost three months straight, and you did absolutely nothing, but you didn't even sleep. You just played a video game, that's how long I have in Counter-Strike. In Gary's Mod, I have 1,000 hours in Rocket League, which I still play to this day. I love Rocket League, probably one of my most favorite games right now. I have about 500 hours, something like that. I play a lot of video games, <laughs> I play a lot. Um, it's actually cut down uh, quite a lot lately, which is a good thing. I have more time to go do other things and kind of better myself. I mean, there's nothing wrong with playing video games. I actually really, really love the whole activity of playing video games, and I think that there are a lot of benefits to playing video games, but not not to the extent that I did. That was a bit much, I'll, I'll admit. Okay, and now on to number three. So number three, you guys, I, I get this question a lot, is who is the monkey in the background of my videos? Well, not in this background, but in, in, in the other background where there is the big, the, the, the big bed behind me and then you can always see a monkey on the side there. So that is actually, that is my childhood, um, how, should I, how should I say it? My childhood like animal, I guess, and his name is Boo. Here he is right here, actually, I brought him with me. So this is Boo. Um, I got him when I was about six. I, I want to say my mom gave him to me when I was six years old. Um, I know that a lot of people actually get these little, um, the, these like little childhood toys that they cherish uh, from like right when they're born. But this one I actually got when I was six. Um, but he was the one that stuck. I had a lot of other toys and stuff, but he's the one that I actually kept with me the whole way through and to this day i still love him very much and i wouldn't give him up for the whole the whole wide world so that his name's boo b-o-o -O. i don't know why i called him that but i do actually distinctly remember just saying that name i didn't plan it or anything my mom gave it to me she asked if i wanted to name him and the first thing i said the first thing that came to my mind was just like boo that's a boo right there his name's boo i don't know did it i really don't know there's actually no reasoning it's not based off anything i just i don't know and it, it works it works really well in my opinion i don't know maybe you can let me know in the comments if you can think of a better name not that i would use any of them because boo has been with me now for 14 years almost 15 now okay Anyways, on to number two. Wait, number two, right? I, I'm not really like keeping track of it. Well, yes, because we start from five. Okay, we're on, to, we're on to number two now. Okay, this one I have listed as the work I did before YouTube. I also got this question a couple times is if I did, what did I like do before YouTube? And obviously I was a student. Um, I did explain in my drama life that I was going to university and all that, but the actual work that I did, um, did not, nothing interesting. You know, your, your typical retail jobs. I worked at Costco. Um, I worked at Rona at one point. I don't think you have Rona in anywhere. I think Rona is only a Canadian, a Canadian store. It's the same thing as Home Depot. Rona is like literally the exact same thing as Home Depot. And uh, I was in sales and I did, I just sold people, specifically I sold people flooring. So I knew a lot about carpets and tiles and uh, like ceramic tiles. <laughs> the difference in wood, you got your laminate and your cedar and your hardwood and all that. I still, so <laughs> I knew how to like install the flooring and stuff. I never actually did it. I just needed to know these things when I was selling this stuff. Um, so that's what I did. I would walk around in aisles for eight hours a day, 
waiting for people to walk up to me and ask questions regarding what they should do. It was kind of cool whenever people would bring in like the entire floor plan of their house and then they said, we have no idea what you're doing. Can you just tell us everything we need and what we should do? And it was kind of fun because it was kind of cool actually. Like it was almost like you're doing a project with people, but um, I definitely prefer YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is probably the best case scenario that I could possibly have gotten in my whole, in my entire life. So uh, definitely an upgrade, definitely an upgrade for sure. I can't say I miss Rona or Costco or anything like that. So yeah, that was number two. And now number one is my obsession with SpongeBob. That's right. I, as a kid, I was so obsessed. I was there, there, it was, it was an issue of how obsessed I was with SpongeBob. I owned every single episode on the DVDs. I have so many different SpongeBob toys and hats and stuff, and they're all actually downstairs in this house right now. Um, I can maybe, you know, here, you know what? I'll actually go take a picture after this. Bam, here you go. Say, so that this is the picture right here, right now. The picture is that this is like what you see whenever you walk into the basement right now and <laughs> there's just a big pile of my old spongebob toys and all the other stuff like that i'm sure there's more um that's just all that i happen to see kind of gathered up i'm not entirely too sure why my family did that <laughs> it's just <laughs> anyways uh so yeah i mean that was that's actually what reminded me uh of of that whole time period in my life and that's why I took it down here is I realized like oh yeah I forgot that I was like so stupidly obsessed with Spongebob I knew I at one point I think I memorized all of the for the Spongebob movie the one with the character Dennis by the way who's super cool and he's got those big boots the one who drives the motorcycle oh yeah that's me <laughs> that's me because his name's Dennis except it's spelled with two N's anyways um, I memorized all the dialogue to that movie like like every single line every character said for I want to say like at least the first half of the movie at one point it kind of gets like blurry but I remember I watched it so many times that I actually like memorized in my head I would recite to the movie in my head it was nuts um, I watched a lot of Spongebob so that was uh, that was that so I don't so much anymore. It is a little bit and more in the past of my life, but it, I think it is like a mildly interesting thing to know about me. Um, I feel like everyone has some sort of childhood obsession. Um, mine being SpongeBob, and then others being I don't know, maybe The Simpsons or a, a specific video game or something. I don't know, like Club Penguin. Club Penguin, I was obsessed with Club Penguin at one point, but that wasn't one of the points because I wasn't nearly as obsessed with Club Penguin as I was with Spongebob. But I think that's pretty much it. Um, dude, just a couple things, just a couple things. I, I don't know if there's, if it, it met your expectations at all. I don't know if you clicked on this video expecting a lot more or something really different. Uh, you can let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more things like this. Um, see if I, if, if anyone out there is interested in knowing anything else, if you want to lead me in a direction of maybe something I can talk about. I am more than down to do that, but if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out my I Love Cats t-shirt, which I actually have right here. Yeah, there it is. You can get it at DennisDaily.com or there is a link in the description below. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.